Good day to you all students. I hope you are taking good care of yourself in these quarantine days. Today we are going to start a new chapter in general knowledge that is rarities in, in nature. The diversity of life on earth is such that there are many different living organisms and species whom we have never seen them before. In this chapter that is rarities in nature we are going to study of some rare species on earth that how they are living and where they are living. Native to the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa, these animals are thought to be related to zebra because of their stripes, but they are actually more closely related to the giraffe. What are they known as? And the answer is Okapi. Okapi are also known as the forest giraffe, Congolese giraffe or zebra giraffe. These rare endangered flowers from the forest of Sumatra smell like a rotting meat, probably to protect themselves from the animals that would eat them. It is not actually a one big flower as it appears to be, but thousands of little male and female flowers in the formation together. Name it. And the answer is copper's flower. Name these plant species from Southern Africa, which pretends to be a rock in order to protect themselves from being eaten. If taken well, they sprout a yellow or white daisy-like flower. And the answer is lithops. The name is derived from the ancient Greek word lithos, meaning stone, ops, meaning face, referring to the stone-like appearance of the plants. Also known as Glaucus atlanticus, these blue sea slung deliver quite a sting to those who manage to pick them up. They float upside down in order to blend their blue side with the water and their silver side with the surface of the ocean. Name them. And the answer is Blue Dragon. Name this extremely hard to find Indonesian flower which is unique because it is the world's largest flower. It has no stems, leaves or root and it has a sting comparable to that of rotting flesh as well. And the answer is Rafflesia. Rafflesia full name is Rafflesia arnoldi. It is a parasitic plant with no visible leaves, roots or stem. It can grow to be 3 feet across and weigh up to 15 pounds. Found in the waters of South America, these fishes may be related to pirhana, but have teeth that look very similar to that of humans. They can also be found in the rivers like the Amazon and are said to be helpful to the fishing industry. Unlike the pirhana, however, they mostly eat seeds and nuts only. Name them. And the answer is Paku fish. Which nocturnal animals found in South Asia have two major defense mechanisms against danger? Toxin in their teeth and ability to move in almost complete silence in order to prevent discovery. And the answer is slow loris. This is a mushroom found in North America. It is known to be helpful in fighting cancer, stimulating nerve growth and killing roundworms. What are they known as? And the answer is bear's head tooth mushroom. This ugly looking fish lives deep in the waters of Australia, Tasmania and New Zealand. Being very light, it primarily hunts by simply floating on the water letting its prey wander into its mouth. Name this fish and the answer is blobfish.
name these majestic looking trees that now survive only on the islands of Socotra. They have a bright red sap that gives them their rather fantastic name. Its canopy of leaves looks and acts like an umbrella while these trees tend to bunch together to collect dampness and help seedlings grow. And the answer is Dragon's Blood Tree.